Tisbury Park. Well, let's speak to our correspondent, Thomas Morgan, who is in Cardiff for us. And an update from there then, Thomas. Yeah, well, the police have been coming and going in this cul-de-sac in the Pentoin area of Cardiff, in the northeast of Cardiff, as they continue to investigate the residence that they believe Darren Osborne has been living in with his partner and four children. Um, we've just had some more information now uh, that one local person in this area said he rang the police after spotting a man he believes was Darren Osborne sleeping in a van on Saturday night. Now, I've been speaking to some of the residents that live in this area and there was a mixed response to the people from how they described um, Darren Osborne but really the overwhelming emotion was that of shocked that they couldn't believe that someone that lived in this community could have possibly committed that horrific incident that happened in Finsbury Park um, just yet in the early hours of yesterday morning. Now the van that was used we understand was hired from a company in the Pontaclean area that is a village around 15 or 16 miles away to the northwest of Cardiff. It's unclear when that was hired and when that was driven to London. But as I say, the police here in Cardiff are continuing to investigate here. We've also heard from the family. Um, they have given a statement from Darren Osborne's family. They have said they are utterly shocked at what's happened. They say it's unbelievable and they are devastated. Uh, they feel devastated towards the families they've been affected in this tragedy. Um, and as I say, the police continue to investigate here and will pass on any details from this resident to the Metropolitan Police. Thomas, thank you.